guys. So Mark and I are out. Hey, bud. Hey, brother. How are you? Good. Good. So we got a lot of snow this winter. We're yeah. standing on a what, like 10, 12 inches now? Yeah. And we are going to test some new gear. I've got Seek Outdoors, Red Cliff, Teepee, and the cool titanium wood stove. So it's like all ultralight stuff. Yeah, I'm anxious to uh, try it out. The stove with the bag weighs about 2.2 pounds. It comes with this kind of cool bag. You could actually strap this onto your pack. It's just about the right size to fit in my pack. And everything fits in there. This is actually the stove pipe. This is the stove damper. These are the legs and these are actually threaded rods. And this is what holds the whole thing together. And then right here is the titanium stove. That's it. Now we can adjust the feet or just kind of let it settle in. I think it's going to be a pretty decent spot for it. So there's the opening for the stove pipe. That piece that you saw, I'm just rolling it. It's held together with these, these wire rings that are all pre-sized, really nice. Now we're gonna put it up in the tent. So there it is, set up, terminating and coming out of the tent. Well, what we're gonna do is get the fire started, kind of uh, break this stove in. David says I can start the fire, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, and uh, birch bark has some oils in it, and uh, they act as an extender. Um, so throw your spark in there and it'll burn hotter and longer. Uh, these are just some feather sticks that I made from a while back. This is how I typically carry this neck knife, is I just carry it right in my belt right there. The whole thing comes right out and then the string pulls it. So, that way it's not around my neck and I don't have to fish down through my coat to get to it. What do you think, Mark? Uh, I think it's uh, pretty warm in here already. I'm anxious to uh, cut some more firewood so we have enough to get through part of the night, at least. That was a little hard to have to build a fire and then transfer it to the inside, as opposed to just building a flat fire. But it worked. All right, what are we doing here, Mark? We are having marinated venison backstraps cooked with bacon grease on this, this stove. And I think it's gonna work really good. What you got there? Oh, we got venison backstrap and potato with onions and carrots. Is that purdy or what? Ooh. Yeah, this is one of the doughs I shot this year. Hey, this thing aged for almost two weeks and my the conditions were perfect. It's gonna be like butter. You're not gonna have any problem. 
Oh man, yum. That's almost too good. That almost should be a sin. It feels, it tastes so good. We're not doing a caveman style this year, David. Dude, we're caveman. Hey guys, good morning. I slept fantastic. This tent, I love this tent. I think we reloaded the fire three or four times during the night. I know Mark got up once and had to start it from some small coals again, but we made it. It was super toasty comfortable. So here's my area where I slept and there's the center area and there's no Mark here. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Stove did fantastic, about three or four loads of wood last night. And as you can see, based on what we cut and split and brought in yesterday, we've got tons of wood left. All right, we're gonna take, take our uh, guns out and do a little small game hunting here this morning. David wanted me to show you uh, my flu flu arrows. Uh, um, I just came back to shooting traditional archery this year, and one of my favorite things to do is just come out and shoot stumps. And with this flu flu arrow, it'll fly very fast for a short distance, and then it, you know, just you know, dies out because of the friction in the drag. Hey, there's one up in the tree, man. You see it? Get it. Okay. Let's see. All right. Wait. <laughs> okay. See that? Did you it? I, well, it was an imaginary squirrel. I just wanted to show the effect. What did it fly? I shot it right up through the trees and it went 35 yards and it floats down and sticks straight up so now I can find it and see it. So man, that was a hoot. Oh. Thank you so much, Mark. Thumbs, thumbs up. Yep. That was awesome. awesome. We had a great time. For upcoming knife or survival gear videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab below. For daily survival tips, cool hacks, knife videos, and our weekly Facebook Live gear giveaways, visit Ultimate Survival Tips on Facebook. And don't forget to grab your free monthly survival e-mag at ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And for more gun videos, survival adventures, and gear reviews, check out the Ultimate Survival Tip Show on Carbon TV. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know. Oh,